Welcome back. We're in an exciting time. Somewhat somber as well, because it's the penultimate episode of Haiku. The boys have tried so hard to struggle to where they are now, and let's be honest, it's been one hell of a journey seeing that 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 growth and adventure. It's definitely not over yet. Each one of them has uh, still got something left to prove. The game's not over, so... Until that final whistle is called, they're going to be trying their damnedest. And, let's be honest, there's some that are definitely catching a few eyes out there. It's not just Kagiyama now who is gaining some attention. All I really know is that the twins, no matter what happens, are probably going to have quite a few interesting interactions. Come hell or high water, one team's going to be slightly upset. Thinking back to Series 1, it's not something that uh, has been shied away from, has it? But with this match going on for so many episodes, so many chances to improve the animation, some of the camera work following the ball across the court, some of the rules of volleyball, which I still don't quite gra grasp sometimes. Can you tell I'm stalling? Let's watch the episode. No messing about. Just straight into the episode. In fact, we are so running so dangerously close on, uh, well, running out of episodes. I really hope that what we see from here on out is going to be quite the journey for us, considering everything, how far they've, each and every one of them have came, and probably it have still to go. Personal growth and the like. I don't think they're done right here. Everything that we've seen so far, they've managed to travel the the country and have their names recognised thanks to just all of the effort that they've put in. It's what you want from a from a team when you are oh, thrust together and there's no escape. I love the duality of Hinata and uh, Kokiyama and then the twins. The fact that they love the game just this much. And the speech from the, the captain again, relaying it once more. I mean, if we get to see the back and forth and what they've managed. I wouldn't mind watching it a second, maybe third time. And... Despite the... Uh, despite the issue there, <laughs> the fact it went over, managing to make quite the important uh, point right there, Kagiyama's body not keeping up with his will, and yet still managing to... <laughs> still managing to, uh... Touch the ball, keep it in play, do something. Well, if you've reached this part of the match, where they let that through so easily. 
where they're now neck and neck. And fighting back a lot more than anyone would have uh, imagined. Just complete forces of nature. I think there's a few characters that might fit into that definition. <laughs> I guess, yeah, being able to stand on the same... in the same place as them. Gotta get a little early this time. For a tie-break moment with him serving, a moment like this. And... S slipped out of his fingers. They really need to stop him now. But what form will that take? And how many points going forward are we going to get to? We're just starting the episode off and now we've got... What, 27 to 26? In fact, he can regain composure so quickly. Well, they've done it before, so... They know it's possible. Just need to... Uh, put themselves into action, overcome uh, any issues they have there. The metaphorical cliff edge. Some of the stretch proportions and animations with, uh, with some of these serves. <laughs> As if he's calling for it. Can't let him outshine you if he's pushing that hard. I could feel that frustration. Like, God damn it. They actually pulled that one off. <laughs> you would kind of expect that s your position would be slightly annoyed that they're actually getting in, but no. When you've got the love of the game, you can actually see players for what they are. Condolences. See, he is such a... Hanata being such a... A condensed ball of energy in love with volleyball. <laughs> At least no one is trying to be humour. But no... Uh, <laughs> Need to keep that in check. You got. You've got to love how much they are uh, battling each other as much as the enemy. They're striving forward. Not gonna lose out to them. Just, just tired.
What was that glance? Was that just him down on the floor? <laughs> he's got a lot to think about, though. He's saying he can't before he's even tried. Force him to take certain actions, as long as you've got someone who's slightly growing behind you to pick up. The fact that he's locking off that entire side just by being there, if he's not touching it. I did like... Ooh, I did like that, the following of the camera across the court. Following of the ball with the camera across the court. Some of those, some of the poses that we've seen throughout, well, a lot of Haiku, but this match itself. Split second too late. But still managing to get behind it. At least it wasn't a, a worse uh, issue for him there. Was he ready for it? But, yeah, even if this is almost the final hurrah for the third years, That was some tensing. And when they're on the down... Uh, out into the stands, can't reach it. Look at him jump. I mean, it was something to uh, look out for, either make them jump first, get over the wall just slightly. I mean, a matter of hesitation could have led to complete downfall. Keep it interesting, <laughs> pull out these kind of moves. A mixture of tension, fear, and excitement. Who gets to be the hero? Yeah. Some things can be boiled down that easily. Probably why they can't ever give it up. One point, but ten minutes. Oh, no. When you've got this music kicking in, we know that it's going to be spectacle for a while. But they can tell what's going on there in each other's mind to be able to sync that well. Bastard. I mean, if he could read it to that degree, what about... What about Kusano? The 
back and forth right there. Who's really the one that orchestrated it? The spiker or the setter? This match pulling out all of the stomps, the things that they've been building up throughout the entirety of the season, like with the delayed spike, minus tempos and the like. Anything that has been played before, imagine it might come to play again. And who's going to collapse of exhaustion first? Now they're behind. Just like that, two point swap. Just, you can see the anticipation in some of their faces. Behind it? Who is it going to? Everyone... <laughs> Everyone getting in their place. <laughs> well, there he is, the star of the show again. Who gets to be the hero, I see. I mean, everyone is on their last legs, as it were. In fact, they are. Uh... They need a deep breath, they need to pull it out. Once again, standard. Standard serve. I mean, it was just over. Exactly. <laughs> I was intended putting them on the back foot there. And while they are disjointed, Sonny, just one point, it's up. Oh. Ah, they're too wrapped up in the moment. That was some... That was some tension. The fact that we got animation where you hold the moment. They are all over the place. They're killing themselves by... Pushing it. Tunnel visioning on the ball. What can happen here? Kind of hopes that uh, they lose the point just to... <laughs> just to drag them back down to earth. But no, when you've got one like that. When he's managing to pull everyone else along with him. Regulate them all. Bring them back. There we go. And now that they have reset, what indeed, the forcing of him, forcing him to be off the court is probably the best that could have happened for him in his growth.
and <laughs> hold it together. The match isn't even over yet. What are some of those ready poses? This. If it gets shut down now. What are they gonna fucking have to do next time? The fact that you have got everyone with bated breath. And it drops dead? Do we have someone on the floor? There he is. Keeping it up for a moment. Fuck. The fact you've got one after another not giving up, each reaching for it. Each and every one of them there, uh, Having each other's backs. And the Vegas Extreme actually diving for the cunt. He wouldn't have attempted it uh, all those whiles ago. They can see what's coming. Is he going to play it? Instantly. Not any one of them, but together holding it. Just don't be out. That reflection was all you need. Just don't call it wrong. But hell of a play to end off that match. You have to think how are they gonna pull it out? Who's gonna be the the last touch? In a, in a sense, each and every one of them. They're dangerously competent. And what are their faces? Pure jubilation. Once it all sets in, the shock might kill them. Hell, the adrenaline wearing off by itself might do it. But Osman, that's me coming up against a opponent like this. Have pushed them to the edge where they're pulling out every stop and trying more. You're getting rallies like what we've seen. Some of this episode was a bit odd, where you had the ex. What's the word? Exaggerated uh, character models and proportions. But it all played together for one hell of a set. It's not the first time they've played into the late twenties, early thirties of uh, of points, but this was the match to do it again. But it it can ending off here on the last point before anyone's had a chance to even properly let it sink in. That's it. Your episode's over. 
Fuck bastards. After how many episodes now? Just... Having a single moment last for as long as... As we were shown. Having not only everyone on the court, surrounding the court, those in the stands, but everyone watching from home, whether it be on a phone, a laptop, and we're all tuning in to see the, the, the match that was going on here. Partly because, well, it's quite late in the tournament, it was quite, would be an interesting interesting fight. But mostly because, well, who's, who's in it? When you've got characters that are such wild cards, they, they can bring out the best in everyone around them. You've got the players doing exactly what they needed to do and bring out their best for the match, even if they're completely exhausted. That wouldn't stop them there, just continuously to push one bit further. They can worry about sleep when they're dead. But it really shouldn't be under underestimated at all when you've got Hinata, well, well, you've got the entire team starting to get run down, start to overthink, start to narrow vision, well, tunnel in on, on scoring, getting it done quick. You've seen it before, probably won't be the last time, but Hinata actually resetting the clock, getting everyone back into a, a proper way of thinking, whether by his uh, joyful nature. Love of the game, somewhat idiotic comments, or actually learning how to receive properly. The explosive growth is almost scary. God, once that uh, scoreboard ticks over, once it dawns on them what they've actually accomplished, how are they all going to handle it? The third year is actually uh, coming into this with a bit of resignation. You know, this is the last tournament they were going to be going to be part of, and yet, with their their help and their their assistance, managed to bring the team to this point. The fact that they were actually there to not only see it done but have a hand in it. No wonder Suga was brought to the verge of tears. But the metaphors that we've experienced, the, uh, the number of cliff edges, the leaps that each and every one of them have taken, and just thinking how far Tsukushima himself has, uh, has, has come since he first... first started playing on the team. Actually finding some fun in volleyball, not just something to do anymore, but actually being a part of it and pushing himself onwards and further. Note, knowing that he has limitations, the way he speaks still is full of that, eh, some things you can't do. But this time, it's not just ending there. Some things you can't do. So do what you can extremely well and push others to dance to your tune. In fact, he's actually making the back rows e job easier by uh, by being the best blocker there, there, there he is. Not just a point of getting the ball, limiting the, the opponent's spikers. And Tanaka being completely worn out, still getting a hand in. Even if not too many actually made it through today. Or this episode. God, there's so many plays. Some good. Some could be better. Others... Need a little refining. Maybe when they're not completely exhausted, they can still practice and train for the next half hour.
Maybe when they're not exhausted, they can practice and train for the next four months. But from the gripping feeling of the matches, where it will go, what it will lead to, who's going to be uh, the next to crumble, all of that, all of the fight that they've put up until now, being able to just wash away. We've got the results in. They've come out victorious, barring any sort of grand upset. But having an, an entire episode now just devoted to the aftermath of this match. I'm not sure I'm ready. I have more than enjoyed my uh, my time with Haikyuu so far. From a show that I wasn't too sure about, a sport that I had no connection to, to now where I sit today. It's not going to be an experience I forget. I hope that one day I can improve, be better than I was before. And it will be thanks to each and every one of you having my back. So if you've enjoyed Haikyuu, let me know. Leave a like and a comment on the video, it helps out the channel. If you want to tell YouTube to go get stuffed and actually start thinking this content might be decent. Good way about going about doing it. And if I've earned it, maybe subscribe to the channel. For now. Definitely get yourselves a bit of a rest. And I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> yes. Even though I may not be amazing by myself, thanks to my patrons, each and every one of them has managed to raise up the channel a little bit more, making us better as a whole. And I honestly couldn't be more grateful. Thanks to the likes of Noku, Raywin, Sal, Cardboard, Shiwan, Mats, Akani, Guado, Danny Sui, Lightwizard91, Kite, Diego, Zenhausen, Tori, Jane, SZ9870, Croyville, Maxwell, Mega42, The Hazel01, and everyone else. We may actually make a name for ourselves, even if it is just watching anime on the internet. And if you would like to go from beyond just supporting from the sidelines, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. Really, thank you.